Nordic hails, even though today's band comes from Canada. Now this is an interesting case called Burden of Ymir, because Ymir is actually one of those Nordic giants, kind of a Norse mythology equivalent to a titans in the Greek mythology, being kind of evil and vile creatures. Anyway, according to gods that then again created mankind, or at least tried to put us all together. Now, uh, with this background, uh, I'm here to present you Burden of Ymir with the third album called And the Twilight, and then Twilight Fell. This one, however, need not being Ymir, but I guess the uh, fire god Sosdr, which then again is a key element or creature in the world's ending called Ragnarök. Now, Ymir then again is supposedly to be this kind of a ice giant creator and leader, which then again died and was made into the world, or the bits being used to that. Now, there are very many theories about how this mythology came to be and what, what all those different aspects mean, but this is one of those stories you can obviously read more about that. Now, I don't know how this name ended up being a uh, name for a Canadian solo folk black metal project, but there it is. Uh, interestingly enough, there is also a band called Ymir from Finland actually making black metal and that will be reviewed later on this year. So Ymir is very much a topic of today or this year with black metal. And now once again back to this cover. Um, previously unknown author or painter had created a wonderful job with this cover art. I think this is very very beautiful image, one that could definitely uh, work as a painting on my wall, being a sort of a Viking fan, if you will, being like that since the, as I was a small kid. So that's why I'm very keen to read about these and enjoy the uh, visuals and graphic side when it comes to creating these Nordic mythology things. Now this is how the CD and the booklet looks like. Let's take a quick look on the band's metal archive side while I'll tell you a little bit about the music. But before that, let's take this look at this band discography or band, maybe more like solo project because one man and that's it. Now interestingly, there's nothing before 2019 and then it went all became boom. Four demos, then a full length. Followed by single, full length, single, full length. This all in two years, which then again usually indicates that the artist in question isn't maybe the most picky type of guy what he wants to put out. I'm not saying that this is crap, but sometimes it's a strong indicator like, hey, if you just create and record everything that comes to your mind in a fast pace, it's kind of a given that you bring a lot of dirt with you anyway. Now, Joe Caswell is the only man in the band and he has now done this third album as well, and then Twilight Fell, which is roughly some 55 minutes of an album. So quite lengthy one in terms of being a black death, uh, sorry, folk black release. I don't know what the word death came to my mind, but anyway, and it's all about this Ragnarök and, uh, you know, how the world is about to end according to Norse mythology and all that stuff. Now, when I say this is about folk black, it definitely means that there are instruments that are, that are very much into folk metal parts, especially the accordion, you know? And then you have obviously these black metal type of riffings and uh, kind of a raspy, screamy vocals, which are very much like your average black metal band. Now, when you put these two together, boom, it makes you think of bands like Vindir and Borgnagar, maybe, Kampfar also, all Norwegian bands. Then again, this use of accordion actually reminds me of some Finnish folk metal bands, which then again, you know, have the um, layers that then again create this sort of a strong folky, let's drink some yod and beer and um, all that together. Now, it's not as goofy as it makes up, may sound or how I'm gonna present it here, but it's actually quite nicely composed. I mean, Usually I'm a little bit allergic when it goes way too goofy with the folky parts. Nothing against folk music. I've, I've listened to it, especially uh, in the past. 
and I know it can be very, very entertaining, usually in a good mood sense, which is then again not what the black metal is all about. So when you have this kind of a goofiness and good mood mentality combined with this sort of a darker and more sinister nature of black metal, it kind of creates weird contrast, which is not that likable so often. But somehow Burden of Emir has been able to pull it all together and this actually sounds quite nice. Like I said, it's very, very melodic and some of these melodies are done by guitar and some of them are done by uh, accordion and, and it all works quite nicely. I mean, there's not too much melodic parts and it's not just too much black metal, not too much folk, but very, very balanced work. What I also really like and want, want to point out is that this uh, production is very, very solid. So every uh, instrument you hear on this album is very clear and nice. It's kind of a crisp sounding and there's a lot of room for bass guitar as well, which is not that given when we're talking about extreme metal. Now the vocals are quite mediocre in its style, so it doesn't really uh, raise eyebrows both in good and bad, but it does its job and that would count. So all in all, this 55 minutes of an album is definitely quite nice to listen to. It's very melodic and somewhat catchy, which is a good thing in my opinion in, in this kind of music, but it's definitely not for everybody. I mean, it might be too good moody stuff, kind of a too goody, goofy, goody goofy, and all that stuff, maybe too folk for some uh, black metal purists. And then again, it might be too black metalish for people who are into folk metal. But if you can handle both worlds, if you're a fan of, say, bands like Fintroll and Vindir and Borknager, then you might actually like this one. Uh, lots of potential, to be honest. So uh, go take a look and uh, hope you enjoy it. And once again, what a beautiful cover art. I really like it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.